color, but still. Good morning, everybody. Got tagged out yesterday with my two hunters, so today I am heading back over to pick up Danny, another one of the guides that works at the outfit I work for. And we are gonna go out turkey hunting here in Wyoming. We're gonna hit up his little piece of property and some uh, other pieces of state land that we, uh, we know about. So stay tuned. I'm getting ready to pull into the lodge here and pick him up. And we're gonna be hitting the road and heading out and hopefully we can get on some turkeys and get you guys some good footage here. So stay tuned, we'll see you in a minute. Danny, hmm. what are we doing today? Shooting turkeys in the face. We're gonna shoot them in the beak. No. Nope. We're gonna bust their beaks. <laughs> <laughs> Matt's fun too. What are you gonna do today, Matt? I got a guide. He got a guide. He's gotta work. We get we get to play. It's a work day. He's a work day for him. We get to play. Yeah. No we'll meet back here for breakfast. How about that? I don't like it. I don't like it. <laughs> then we'll go to South Dakota. Do you have the fan? It's in there. I don't see that fan. It's in there. Oh, it's underneath the cooler. Okay. Right, I'm ready whenever you are. Well, me and Danny got in here on these birds. We're right along the edge of this public land and they're down there by the rancher's house. We called and called, there's at least five gobblers there. Mm -hmm. And then there was two gobblers back here. We're gonna go see if we can get on, but these birds wouldn't leave that house down there. So stubborn. Yeah. So we're gonna head pack up our stuff. We got the gobbler decoy there, full strutter mounted. So we're gonna head out this ridge here and see if we can get anything going. So we'll see you guys on the next one. They're down there in the guy's yard.
Yeah, that, last, that one that gobbled sounded like he was closer. Maybe he's coming. It's a nice place to set up in here. Mm -hmm. I would think they would leave down there, you know? Not gonna stay in that yard for all day. I think they would come right up the trail here. Up his jaw. Okay, we'll just walk out there because we can't get any closer to this. Let me know if you see him. I will. comes. See him? To the right of the brush pile. Yeah, baby. Good job, buddy. 
How pretty was that coming through the sun? Freaking awesome, man. <laughs> hey, they can't handle it. What do you think, buddy? How awesome was that? Dude, that was sick. Watching him come through the sun. Sunlight shining through his feathers. <laughs> he, he can't handle that decoy. <laughs> he can't handle it. There's another one over here, too, somewhere. Yeah. I thought, I thought you said you saw him. No. no. Well, what do you think, Danny? Well, I don't even know what time it is, but this is our second set. We just moved a couple hundred yards, really, and uh, we, we were going to go down over the ridge there, and I'm like, you know what? There's too many gobblers back here. Let's, yeah, like you said, why leave birds to find birds? Yeah, let's set we up just here. just set up a little further back, and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can call them in. Something in. Good job, buddy. Public land. You bet. That was awesome. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, let's go see them. You can see our setup here. Oh, dude, that was awesome in that sun. You freaking hammered him. He's a nice bird too. Freaking nice. Look at the look at the head on that thing. So this is the this one's bird. Danny was yeah. He was set up at that tree up there. Straight up, and that gobbler saw this thing. We could hear him drumming, just couldn't see him yet. Yeah, and that sucker came straight in on a string. As soon as he seen that decoy, when he come over that hill and he saw that decoy, that was it. it was game over. That was it. it was game over. He's got a good beard. Yeah, he got a good beard. he's a dang. Hey, you can't beat it for public land. No, now the fun part, right? What do we got? Well, let me get this set up here, and I'll get back here with you and talk. Oh, 7.30. Let me move this back a little bit more. No, you're good. I, I can see it now. Okay. Okay. Alright guys, so public land gobbler. We got in here, we checked a couple spots right, right before it got daylight. We heard some gobbles, we couldn't locate them. Come up the road here and uh, found the mother load found, found the mother load and they were actually on private and uh, we worked them set up worked them and they were gobbling their heads off and uh, we heard two way off here earlier this today this morning and so we actually set left and we were gonna go this way and we did and we called and we didn't hear nothing I told Danny I said we should probably go back and set up just in case what we set maybe 100 and 150 yards off of our last our first set. yeah we were about 150 yards yeah. away from our first set Anyway, we got set up here, got the decoy out, got calling, and we could hear the ones down in the canyon, and all of a sudden... Right here at the top of we, the hill. Top of the hill. I said, the that one sounds east. like it's higher. Yeah. He said, yeah. So we started calling, and next gobble, closer, 50 yards, 100 yards closer, and then I said, I see him. He's coming by that brush pile right there. And he was so pretty coming through the trees, the, the sun, sun shining on him. Did you get it? Oh, I got all of it. Awesome. Dude, I got all of it. Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome. Man. And then he uh, he came up. Once he crested this crested hill, this little hill, he looked right. And I made a little bit, a couple calls, just so he knew exactly where we were. He yep. turned, saw this strutter, and he come on, on a string, string right to us. Drumming, and he wasn't happy. What was that? About not even twenty yards. Ah, twenty at the most, maybe. Twenty-one yards. Yep. From here, so it's probably twenty yards of the decoy. So. Stone. Another turkey down. Congratulations, brother. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. So, <laughs> it never gets old. No. Hey, no. if you guys like this type of video, if you guys like this content, I mean, I really appreciate it. If you subscribe. Please subscribe. Yeah, man. It's Can't stop the flop. Can't stop the flop. <laughs> I know that's not ours, but we'll We're use gonna it. We're going to take it. But <laughs> so, so close. So close. My, my wife and I have a little bit of ground down here. What are we? A mile from it? Maybe a mile. a mile. Yeah. At the most. Almost and, got one on on the home turf but yeah we'll, For, fortunately there's we'll take it. there's quite a bit of public land around here so we we can go check those spots in the morning and sure enough there was yep. there was callable gobblers close enough to public land that we were able to draw off the draw off you know the 
private. So anyway. Got them. Got them. Another <laughs> bird down. We're going to go try to find another one. Stay tuned. Oh, the old eagle and such. Oh, I didn't get no pictures of you with him, so we'll get him. We'll yeah. get him set up on one of these stumps or something yeah. up here. What's his date? Twenty fifth. Uh, yeah, pretty sure twenty fifth. You know what's nice, and what's nice is, is when he came straight to the decoy, we were off to the side. You know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like we were behind the decoy. You know, a lot of times when 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 people do setups, they'll they'll put they'll sit there and then they'll put the decoy and then they'll have where they think the gobblers are going to come. And this particular instance, we had the decoy and we were off to the side of the straight line where the gobbler came in. So he's not looking past the gobbler at at us. He's we're off to his his peripheral. He's not paying attention. He's focused on this on that strutter there and that strutter is a totally fully mounted bird he's pretty beat up because he's been beat on a bunch of times but he got his butt kicked the last couple it is it's it's this this got this strutter and the dsd strutter i mean you can't beat it when they see him there's no question that they're real so he's got his tag notched here we are official pretty bird man Little buff yeah. color, but still gorgeous. They don't get any prettier than these man. Heavy bird. Look at the colors in that thing. All right, we're gonna get we're gonna get set up here and get some pictures of them. So. What are we gonna do, Matt? Kill some birds. Matt got, Dakota now. Matt got tagged out this morning. He just come down here and met up with us, me and Danny. Danny got tagged out this morning. Well, Matt tagged his hunter out. Danny shot one for himself. In the fish! In the beak, blasted him. Now me and Danny's done. Matt's got a, you got a tag, right, Matt? I got two tags. Matt's got a tag for Wyoming. You got a tag for South Dakota? South Dakota. And South Dakota. And I got a tag for Wyoming and Montana, but we're going to, we're hunting down here close to South Dakota. So we're going to hit Wyoming and then go into South Dakota and see if we can kill another bird, at least one, maybe two. So ooh, ooh. secret spot 54, secret spot 54. Matt's got all these secret spots. He, 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 he don't want nobody to know about. So, so you got to turn the we're, camera off. We're going to have to turn the camera off till we get in there. No GPS. So we can't go far. We're gonna have to go over there on that hill. We got 300 yards. That's it. All right, hit that call. So we heard a gobble on this piece of state land. We're heading over here to set up. It was across the road, so see you guys in a minute.
Let's head over to the middle big trees are there. It's gonna be a pain in this fence. He's trying. Well, we had it all set up down on this decoy and the gobbler circled up around us. I couldn't move. I couldn't move to move the camera and I <clears throat> saw the hens going through there and I ranged them. When they went through, I ranged the tree where they passed and it was 45 yards and I knew. As soon as that gobbler went, I went, bat, bat, and he stuck his head up. Boom! He rolled down the hill, so let's go take a look at him. I'll come back and get all this stuff. You think I was going to shoot? I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure how important the video was. Well, there's always tomorrow. What? So there's always tomorrow. 
There he is. He is pretty. That's tough to see that decoy, but that's what I'm seeing. Look at it. That's what I'm saying. I don't think he saw it. Well, he might have saw it down there. I saw that beard. I What's the spurs it. look like? Body rocked them? Yeah. Oh, he's got nice Oh, ones. he's got hooks. Yeah. I hit him in the head. Well, public land, Wyoming. Get it done again. I'm pretty happy, even though it wasn't on camera. It was still cool. What happened was, is we were set up down there. I don't know, he probably couldn't see a decoy because I could barely see it. They came into the corner of this fence. Now, the state land boundary, this is not on the boundary. State land boundary is about 40 yards that way and what they did was we dropped down in figuring they were going to circle around coming down the bottom and they didn't they stayed right along the fence here got to this corner and he was back and forth back and forth he wasn't coming down there anyway the hens went through this gap and as soon as they went through I ranged a tree they went by and he was coming behind them and 45 yards Gobbler down, baby. Gobbler down. He's pretty too. He got a little wet from the rain, but we'll get him set up and get some pictures. I gotta get him tagged. What do you think, Matt? All right, ladies and gentlemen, members of the jury, we got Eric here. This Wyoming bird. Crucified a gobbler. We're back. We're back at it. The terrible twosome. Killing sure. birds is what we do. Here, go ahead and how's that look? Oh man, I'm I'm gonna make the I'm gonna make everybody in YouTube world seasick. How's that look? So we're back. Um, so what what happened, Matt? What happened? Well, we was driving up the road, saw the gobbler, a bunch of hens. Um, right along the highway fence down the road here. A some, somebody got a little excited. I said, there's a gobbler right there. So we pulled over, checked the map, and lo and behold, not but 150 yards away, 200 yards away, there's a piece of, piece of public land. So we go up the road, made sure we were on public. Snuck down over the hill, got set up, started calling, and what did they do? Exactly the opposite of what we wanted them to do. As always. As always. Hey, instead of coming down along the side hill and seeing our decoy, they what they did was they stayed up high, and they ended up going behind us. Way up here behind me. I seen him strutting. I said, Eric, there he is. There he is. So we we sat and called, tried to get him. We figured the, fence, the hens were going to come down the, the fence, but they didn't. They went through the fence. But like I said, the fence is not the border. The, the border is actually about 40 yards in that direction on the other side of the fence. But what they did was they come right through this fence up here, and the hens come behind, and the first hen went through. And then I shifted my weight, I shifted my body so I could shoot that way. I couldn't turn the camera, it was too thick. And as soon as the second hen come through, I ranged her, and I could see the gobbler about 10 yards behind, and he came right into the opening, and I went, bark, 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 and he went, boom, hammered him. It was about 45 yard shot. The closest they got to us is right where we were, where we are now, was, and that log, way down there that you can barely see is where we were set up yeah 
and the one hen walked down the hill and then turned around and came back to the gobbler. So, go ahead. That's it. Yeah, that was it. Was awesome. I wasn't going to pass up the shot, not on the public land bird. Um, if I was paying for the hunt and paying for the video, I'm like, nah. I I filmed the hunt this morning. Our other buddy Danny, one of the other guides, he shot that one. You guys will see that footage, and uh, you can't film them all. So. But we can kill them all. But we can try to kill them all. That's great. Okay. If you want to set that off to the side, it doesn't matter. How's it look? Good. Let me see. Let me get this out the way. Ooh. Hey now. How are you doing? I like that one. Oh, here, let me let me. Alright, you ready? Let me know when you're ready. Full send. That's good. I mean, them wings are tore up. Them wings are tore up bad. I don't know why. Oh, they're just wet. They're not. Oh. Uh, that's what it is. No, that's fine. Looks good. Good deal. I'm happy. You're happy. Oh, now. Now we get to go to Montana tomorrow. I got another tag here. Or South Dakota. Or South Dakota. Matt's got a tag for there. So, all right, guys, we'll sign it off. We'll see you on the next one. It never gets old. No. Hey, no. if you guys like this type of video, if you guys like this content, I mean, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. Please subscribe. Yeah. <laughs>